first before we click anything and we're going to change the base level to basement and then our top level to first floor so that way we're going from the basement to the first floor see your screens grayed out your ribbon is changed so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to about middle of the doorway we're gonna left click once you can see it's starting to make the stairs you want to go all the way to the end so all the way past the stairs it won't make anymore but you can go all the way to the end you're gonna left click and then hit the green check mark to accept For some reason it puts it in backwards so we're gonna click on the stairs right next to the DN there's an arrow we're gonna hit that arrow so it flips the stairs and now they're going down okay so now we're going down the correct way pretty simple we're gonna add ceramic tile flooring in this bathroom right here so to add flooring you go to floor and then in our properties there's a pull down menu there's three pre-made like finished ones which are wood joist ceramic tile wood joist wood finish and wood joist or wood truss carpet so this is just the thickness of the floor we can worry about that later but just know that you have ceramic tile wood and carpet so we're gonna select the ceramic tile as our first option and then over in the top right it's going to give you like a drawing option so right now what is selected is the pick walls so that icon should be selected for you it, it should be the predetermined preset icon we're going to change it to rectangle though it's right here next to the line button it's rectangle so we're gonna select that one and what we're gonna do is from the middle of our wall see I get the snap to turn on I'm gonna go from the middle of this wall as I start to draw you can see it's making this pink rectangle and I'm gonna go to the middle down here And then I'm going to hit the green check mark for OK. Doesn't look like anything happened. That's because we are in wireframe mode. If you go down below to the visual style and you go to realistic, you can see it added tile flooring. you can draw in this mode or you could change it back to wireframe I like to or hidden line mode I should say hidden line I like being in hidden line from my purpose alright next we're gonna add carpet in the den right here carpet in the den so we're gonna go to the architecture tab flooring our pull down menu is gonna be carpet same thing we're gonna to go to draw a rectangle I'm gonna go from this intersection to this intersection there suggest so the den has carpet I'm gonna hit the green check mark this one has a pattern on the inside we can change the patterns later I'll show you how to do that later when putting in carpet or any other type of flooring that is not a rectangle I'll show you how to do that next so if we go to floor carpet except for this time you're gonna use the line button see the line button right next to the boundary right here line kinda of the same way as we did the rectangle we're gonna start doesn't matter where 
I'm gonna start down here in this bottom right corner. Just make sure you're in the corner, in the middle of the wall. I'm gonna left click once, and I'm gonna trace the middle of the walls of what I want. I don't want this entryway here. This entryway I want to be hardwood, so I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna include my closets. I'm just tracing the middle of the walls of my floor that I want. If you're having trouble snapping, you might have to zoom in and out and move it around. You wanna make sure that when you do this, all your lines touch. If one of your lines is like this, it'll give you an error. If one of your lines is like this, where it goes past, it'll give you an error. It has to be perfect. It has to be an enclosed loop. Okay? So you can make the floor look like whatever. It could be circle, it could be uh, wiggly lines, whatever. But usually it's straight lines. And then you hit OK. And you can see now you have carpet, carpet, tile. This large area in here I'm going to make hardwood. Okay? So I'm going to go to floor. I'm going to select hardwood or wood finish, I should say. I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to trace the area that I want to make hardwood. So I'm going to go I'm going to start this bottom right corner. It doesn't matter where you start, but for this purpose, we're going to start down here. I'm going to include this little entryway. And I'm going to go up. For this purpose, I'm going to include the entryway and the pantry. So I'm going to go past the entryway. I'm going to go down. We'll actually include all of this entryway down here. So we'll go all the way down here to the closet. We'll go over, down, over to here. So my loop started here, goes up, includes this little area right here, comes up this way, over past these doors, so it includes all of that. So that way this over here, the bedrooms and closets will be carpet, and then this last bathroom right here will be tile. So once I have all of that, I can hit the green check mark. And if you get an error that says walls or floors overlap, We'll fix that in a second. But you can see that the floor went over top of our stairs. We could subtract that. So that's what we're going to work on next. If you click on your flooring, you hit the edit boundary button up here at the top. It's like a square with a pencil. It says edit boundary. Now you're back in this edit mode. So if anything needed to change, you could change it. You can move these walls around. As long as it's a closed loop, you're good. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the rectangle button. And we're simply going to draw a rectangle on the inside hallway or opening of our stairs. So anything you draw inside of this closed loop will now be subtracted from it. You'll have to hit the OK button to see what I'm talking about. So if you hit the check mark, you can now see that anything that I drew inside was subtracted. So now the stairs are subtracted. If I look at it in 3D, you can see the stairwell is now open. We're going to put in the carpet in the tile. So we'll put the tile flooring in this bathroom. So floor, 
for this one I can use rectangle because oops, select rectangle or ceramic tile first rectangle because it is a rectangular room just make sure you stay in the middle of the walls and hit OK that is ceramic tile last is these two bedrooms with the closet which will make carpet so we'll go carpet draw you can do them individually or you can do them all together whatever preference you want I'm gonna do them together for this activity and I'm just gonna trace my perimeter that I want make sure I'm back to a closed loop so this room the closet so closed loop around I hit the green check mark and if I were to look at it in the realistic view you can see you have tile carpet hardwood minus the stairwell carpet tile make sure that you save your work it's a lot of work to be done without saving so save your work and we'll move on next episode to fixtures